I'm Adam Verku. I'm a neurotechnology engineer at Harvard University, and this is my BattleBot Brutus. I have a pretty fun job. Uh, I'm a, a PhD neuroscientist who's a self-taught engineer. I got involved with BattleBots because a good friend of mine who I've built another robot with um, said, hey, you want to build a fighting robot? I said, Absolutely. I'm an engineer today only because of competing in BattleBots since my childhood. I made a few little things that resembled robots in the beginning that didn't work. I started a few fires and eventually made something that can move and bigger and better and eventually something like this. I never stopped building BattleBots since I started and I'm, I hope I never have to. Watching the best old builders compete and reading their build reports, I saw many of them had designed their robots in 3D before building them. Um, the robots were getting more compact and more feature rich and SOLIDWORKS was one of the tools I saw popular among the best builders and I decided that I needed to learn SOLIDWORKS to build the best robot I can build. Learning SOLIDWORKS for me was uh, going solo at my desk every single morning. Once I decided that this was a tool that I needed to learn, um, I could see the power there, I went after it and um, now uh, years later, um, it's amazing what I can do with it. Brutus is designed as a kind of all-around robot, fast, strong, powerful, and we can take any situation with full force. The most powerful advantage SOLIDWORKS gives you is the ability to uh, rapidly iterate digitally without cutting any steel. Brutus here is the first version of Brutus that's ever physically existed, but maybe the fifth version of Brutus that's ever existed conceptually, and SOLIDWORKS helped me get there. One of the more useful things for, for building robots is the, the mass tools where finding center of mass quickly turns out to be very useful. Also getting an idea of the weight of something quickly, being able to change those properties has been very useful for, for me. There's a lot of pressure um, spending so much time and energy creating something like this knowing that it can all be shredded in moments right in front of your face. And uh, the moments before a fight are pretty intense. It's you do your best to stay calm, visualize your fight, visualize your opponent, imagine what you're going to do, and go out there and try to execute the best you can. I mean, things will change. Your plan, without fail, will fail, and uh, you just adapt or die. 